I think for composers, often um, the more restrictions they put on the, themselves, the more creative they have to be. Copland's Third Symphony really is a development of his fanfare for the common man. Of course, this fanfare he had written three years earlier, and it's just for brass and percussion, and it's only three minutes long. So somehow he's able to take that material and dissect it. He turns it upside down, he turns it inside out, he gives it to different instruments, he slows it down, he speeds it up, and from that he's able to create an almost 50-minute symphony. Like Brahms, Copland is restricting himself in a way to see how inventive he can be.